so we had the Mobile World Congress and uh, are those ski glasses? Yeah, so uh, this is a head-up display uh, for ski and snowboard goggles. Um, we're, we're Recon Instruments and we created this uh, head-up display which goes into uh, our partner brand ski goggles. Um, so it shows kind of like your speed, your altitude, vertical distance travelled, hooks up to your phone so you can see SMS, caller ID, see a music playlist. So all on this screen whilst you're skiing and snowboarding. So do you show stuff here? How it looks? What yeah, yeah so, so this is the, the module, this is called Mod Live. Um, so, the, the, so the consumer buys uh, the technology like this, then chooses the goggle brand from our partner goggles. So this goggle, for example, is from Scott. Um, and as you can see, uh, it comes empty, there's no technology inside. Yeah. So the consumer will buy the technology, put it in themselves, and they're good to go. So you can basically choose what goggle you have, what style, what colour, that type of thing. So there's only some goggles that fit, right? Yes. Not all of them? Not every single goggle. So we partner with goggle brands. Our partners this year um, are Uvex, Alpina, Brico and Zeal Optics. Then next year we'll also have Smith & Scott. Um, so we want to we want to grow those brands and also grow the number of sports we're in. So in the future, with downhill biking, motorcycling, even sunglasses as well. So are those the biggest uh, goggle brands? Yeah, yeah. So we, we've got most of the market with those, with those brands. So, but we're, we're we're always looking to include more brands in that as well. Um, so we want to give the consumer as much choice as possible. So it's raining here. Uh, right now it's up. Right? No, it's on now at the moment. No, it's on at the moment. You might struggle to get. Ah, there. I can see it. All right. So it's on all the time or sometimes? How does it turn on and off? So it, it's, it's on uh, at the moment. You turn it on and off just using the button here. Um, so you can turn it on and off there. And that's, all, that's also where you charge it. So you can charge it using the USB here. And that's also how you can download all the stats onto, onto your computer. Is it micro USB? Yes, that's right. So, so um, Mod Live stores all your data. And at the end of the day, you can download it onto your uh, PC app. So you can see where you've been, you can see the stats, and you can share that online as well. Nice. So, um, how long is the battery life? It's, uh, it's up to six hours, depending on how many apps you're running. Um, and that's up to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Um, so, next to your face doesn't really that, get that cold anyway. But it doesn't actually run Android in the goggles, does it? Yes. It, it, it runs is Android. an Android in there? Yeah. Like a... Uh, gingerbread. Gingerbread yeah. is in your yeah. head? Yeah. So in the goggles? Yeah, so Mod Live there. So, what is the CPU? Uh, not sure on the CPU. It's, it's OMAP 3. OMAP 3 uh, processor? Yes. And uh, it's OMAP 3 uh, 512 flash, 256 megabytes of RAM. The storage is inside. So, so uh, what do you have? Uh, Bluetooth? Yep. So it's, it's got uh, so by low energy Bluetooth that hooks up to remote control. Um, so you can scroll through the different apps and the screens on there, and also it connects via Bluetooth to your phone as well. But that's not low energy. So you put this in your arm? Yeah. So, so this can go on your arm. We also have other straps as well. So it can go on the um, on the strap of your goggle strap. You can put it on your on your belt, depending where you want it. So what is that? Up, down? Yeah. Up, down, left, right, select, and back. So that navigates through all the screens on here. So. You have a home replacement or an app? What is your showing the speed and all that? What is that? Yeah, so that, that's an app. It's a dashboard app. Um, but we're opening up a, an SDK in the near future. Um, so developers can create any apps and, up, and upload it. So um, apps are coming up. We're partnering with Polar. Um, so you can, uh, if you're wearing a heart rate monitor, you can see your heart rate and also contour video cameras. Um, so you can see what you're filming as you're filming it. So it turns into a viewfinder. So there's a camera on or? No, so we partner with the brands. Okay. So, so, so like we partner with the goggle brands, we're partnering with Contour. Um, so Contour make uh, point of view cameras. Um, and at the moment, this hasn't got a viewfinder, um, but the LCD screen inside the goggles will turn into a viewfinder so you can see what you're filming. So like the camera brands, we want to partner with as many cameras as we can. So it'll be Contour, it might be GoPro, it might be Drift. We want to give the consumer that choice. Do you want to do a USB host or is it a wireless camera? Wireless camera. Yeah. So what kind of wireless? Bluetooth camera. Bluetooth? Yeah. yeah. Bluetooth a Wi-Fi camera could work as well or? Oh, it has, has to hook up via Bluetooth to the Mod Live. So right. it'll be via Bluetooth. Is there any USB host? Uh, no, it's all, all done wirelessly. Okay. And uh, so, how much does it cost? So Mod Live, the technology, the head-up display is 360 euros. Um, so the consumer buys that, and then the goggles are around 120, 130 euros. 360. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
And uh, you can upgrade to ice cream sandwich? Uh, we're working on it, but uh, not any release date for that. All right. How do you measure the speed? The speed's measured uh, by GPS on the pressure sensors. So normal GPS devices will measure your speed on a horizontal axis from point A and B. We have algorithms in there which measure your GPS, so point A and B, but also your change in uh, altitude by the pressure sensors. So that, that calculates your true stats, your true like, 3D speed on the hill. Nice. Do you get a rating at the end of the slope? So you... Well, you, you, can see, you can see your stats. So you can see your max speed, your average speed, uh, your biggest jump, all that type of thing. So that's all stored on there. Where does it go? Well, it, it stays in there? Yes, yeah, it, stays, it stays on the device. It doesn't go on website later? No, yeah, yeah. At, at the end of the, end of the day, you can plug it um, into your computer at the end. You can share that online. Um, Recon HQ online. Uh, and you can see what other people have been. You can follow other people's profiles. And you can also upload it to Facebook and Twitter and that, things like that as well. So how many do you sell so far? Uh, we saw, we, we've had a good first year. How many million? Um, <laughs> we've had a good first year. First year? <laughs> yeah, so this is the first year we've been out in this form. But what did you do before the company? Uh, well, the company was found, founded in 2006. Um, so since then we've been developing kind of the first product. We launched our first product in October 2010, um, which, was, which was a different business model. Um, so the technology was integrated inside the goggles. Um, but this year we made a modular system to give the consumer that choice of brand and be able to, check, to change between the goggles. What was the OS in the first version? Well, it's an, our own OS. We, we created ourselves. Linux stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's homebrew microcontroller, kind of STR9. Right. So now it's a full. This is a full Android device. Android in your head. That's so yes. awesome. Yep. Only 360 is cheaper yep. than the phone. There you go. Why don't everybody walk around with this all the time? One day they will do. One, awesome. one day. So, so awesome. at the moment it's skiing, and snowboarding. As I said, in the future it'll be downhill biking, it'll be sunglasses, motorcycling. So there's no real kind of there's no barriers to where we can go. Couldn't you make the for like any sunglasses, like uh, people walking around? Well, watch that space. We hope so. Yeah, that, that's what we're working on. Are you doing the Google goggles? No, that's, that's, that's not, not us. That's, that's not, not us. an exclusive partnership with no, you? No, that's not us. Not yet. Not, but Officially, it's not. It's not, it's not us. Right. Thank you.